Hey yo, welcome back to Cartoon Mania. Today we've got a complete rundown of the show Invader Zim, from its humble beginnings to the grand finale. The series revolves around Zim, an extraterrestrial Urken invader who was sent to Earth by the Urken leaders to conquer it. However, Zim is not particularly competent and frequently makes blunders in his attempts to blend in and take over the planet. He is accompanied by his malfunctioning robot servant, G.I.R., who adds a considerable amount of absurdity to the show. The show starts with the alien race Urkins, led by almighty tallest Red and Purple, assigning missions for Operation Impending Doom 2. Zim, a banished and infamous Urkin, desperately seeks a mission and is reluctantly sent to Earth, a planet of little interest to the Urkins. Why steer around the Earth when we can just blow it up? Yeah! With his garbage mate SIR unit, GIR, he lands on Earth, creating an underground base beneath a normal human house. To blend in, Zim disguises himself and GIR as humans and enrolls in a local school where he goes unnoticed by everyone, except Dib, a determined young boy who believes Zim is an alien. Dib's efforts to expose Zim lead to a chase, but Zim escapes and returns home. Zim contacts the Almighty Tallest, assuring them he'll deal with Earth before the Urken Armada arrives, leaving the Tallest filled with dread. Zim seeks to make friends to avoid suspicion. After conducting bizarre tests on classmates, he chooses a red-haired boy named Keef as his best friend. However, Keef's relentless pursuit annoys Zim, who plans to get rid of him. Zim creates a gruesome present for Keef, replacing his eyes with hypnotic ones and making Keef see a squirrel as Zim. The episode ends with Keef falling from a rooftop, caught in a huge explosion with G.I.R., Zim's eccentric robot, stirring cake batter in the background. Dip, attempting to expose Zim's true identity, sneaks into Zim's base and captures an incriminating photo. However, Zim, using a microscopic nanoship, enters Dib's body and aims to erase Dib's memory of the evidence's location. Dib's dad, Professor Membrane, equips him with a tiny submarine to combat Zim inside his body. Dib's sister, Gas, mistakes this for a video game and effortlessly defeats Zim. Dib's memory is erased, but he is saved from Zim's control by Gas, who unknowingly outwits the alien. The battle ends as Zim is flushed from Dib's body, leaving Dib thwarted in his quest to expose Zim. Zim faces a dilemma when parent-teacher night is announced at Earth School. He doesn't have real parents, only robotic ones who can't pass as humans. To make them fit in, Zim subjects his robo-parents to a proper Earth parenting program, but G.I.R.'s interference sabotages it. Zim's plan surprisingly fools everyone, of course, except Dib, and he escapes with his robotic parents while Dib faces trouble for his punch-spilling frustration. Frustrated by G.I.R.'s incompetence, Zim upgrades G.I.R.'s guidance technology. During a city trip, G.I.R. ditches the new chip for a cupcake, leaving Zim and G.I.R. lost. They attempt various plans like makeshift compasses, trying to stare at the sun and dancing in a park to earn money. Mistaken for a bank robber, Zim flees from the police and G.I.R. runs out of fuel. Zim reluctantly asks a human for help but ends up even more lost and winds up in Mexico. Only the writers know how they made it back. After watching a film about humans defeating aliens with germs, Zim becomes a germaphobe and orders germ vision goggles. His home gets a rigorous cleaning, but G.I.R. unintentionally releases more germs. Later, Zim discovers a restaurant that serves germ-free burger and realizes he can use this to complete his mission. The next day, Zim arrives at school covered in meat, baffling everyone. Dib, using an X-scope, discovers that Zim lacks human-like organs, raising suspicions of his alien identity. When Zim gets head pigeons and must see the nurse, Dib warns him of potential exposure, prompting Zim to replace his own organs with those from unsuspecting students. Wow. Dib attempts to reach the nurse, but finds Zim has ambushed students, leaving them with odd objects as organs. Dib, teamed up with Torx Mackie, tries to protect them from Zim's organ harvesting, but ultimately fails and becomes Zim's last target, with his own organ replaced by a mooing sound can. Zim's plan succeeds, fooling the nurse, while Dib's predicament becomes front-page news, labeled as the hideous mooing cyborg boy. Zim attempts to assess Earth's defenses by taking his voot out, but crashes in a park when a bumblebee hits his view screen. Planning to return the next day, he disguises a recovery vehicle as a giant pig and leaves. However, the Saucer Morons, a group that worships aliens, reach the first ship. Zim joins them to steal it back, but is captured when his recovery vehicle is discovered. Eager to escape the section, Zim calls G.I.R., who poses as a government agent, and convinces the saucer morons that all the vehicles are government experiments. They escape on the pig, only to crash at an alien convention. When it rains at school, Zim, unfamiliar with rain from his home world, experiences its acidic effect due to his race's weakness to polluted water. Dib discovers this weakness and plans to use water as a weapon against Zim. 
However, Zim figures out that bathing in a paste collected from the school renders them immune to the water's effects. They prepare for a showdown, but when Dib fires a water balloon, it passes through Zim, revealing him to be a hologram. The real Zim is in orbit aboard a space station, and he releases a colossal water balloon that floods the city and destroys his house. Unconcerned, Zim returns to his base, ending up stuck in a toilet elevator. During career day, Dib ends up with a paranormal investigator mentor, Bill, while Zim mistakenly believes he can become the leader of Earth by working at a fast food restaurant, MacMedes. However, a galactic equinox causes aliens away from their home planets, like Zim, to undergo a grotesque molt. Dib rushes to get Bill to McMeady's to witness Zim's transformation, but Bill is more focused on chasing a serial mascot. Zim's molt wreaks havoc and he is fired. His ambition to conquer Earth takes a backseat to his awkward molt, and Bill remains clueless about Zim's alien identity. Dib finally gets the chance to present his findings about Zim to the Swollen Eyeball Network to thwart Zim's plans. However, he needs his dad's signature and his sister Gaz tricks the security guard into believing he's a fan. To enter, Dib faces written and battle exams, eventually losing due to Gaz's tricks. He encounters his dad but goes unnoticed and his dad mistakenly signs the permission slip as an autograph. Dib leaves behind his presentation and heads to the meeting without his evidence. Zim discovers his fellow Urken invaders are ahead in their missions, causing frustration. Investigating with G.I.R., Zim learns that the planet Jackers have encased Earth in a metal bubble to fuel their dying sun. Zim's initial attempt to negotiate fails, and he resorts to force but is defeated. His final plan involves cutting the bubble with his Voot's lasers, causing the planet Jackers to throw an empty shell into their sun, leaving Earth free for Zim to conquer. Dib disguises himself as a ceramic squirrel to breach Zim's security system and exposes its flaw. Zim dismisses it but is baffled when a pizza man enters unharmed. G.I.R.'s messy pizza consumption annoys Zim, leading to a pimple on his face. After G.I.R.'s attempts to treat it cause the pimple to grow, Zim discovers it has hypnotic powers. He dubs it Postulio and uses it to control classmates at school, including Dip. However, the pimple swells uncontrollably, bursting and covering the school. Zim departs, leaving Dip to clean up the mess. Zim faces security issues at his headquarters while reporting to the tallest. He assigns G.I.R. to manage security, but G.I.R.'s consciousness now controls the base. As it craves tacos, Zim exploits his obsession with withholding them until G.I.R. returns to the base. G.I.R. complies, and his mind is restored to his robot body as he realizes it lacks a mouth for eating tacos. Zim creates a space-time object transfer device to send a giant robot back in time to eliminate Dip. When it fails, he sends rubber pigs into the past, causing various accidents and altering Dip's future. Dib becomes a cyborg due to a mishap, but returns to confront Zim, who tries to undo his actions by sending a warning note to his past self. In the end, Zim's brain is replaced in the past, restoring the timeline. Zim tricks his schoolmates into thinking they're on a field trip, but Dib realizes the bus driver isn't real. Zim reveals his plan to send them into a wormhole, with three potential destinations. Dib tries to warn the other kids, but they mock him. Dib uses his computer to figure out the right path back to Earth, convincing his classmates to sit on the right side and thwarting Zim's plan. Upon their return, the kids complain about the field trip, while Dib enjoys his victory, much to Zim's frustration. Zim exploits the arrival of a pet hamster named Peepee -Pee at school, intending to use it to weaken the humans. He attaches a device to make Peepee -Pee grow under his control, but it goes awry, causing the hamster to wreak havoc. Zim and Dib team up to stop Peepee. -Pee and their initial plan involving a rocket-powered Ferris wheel fails due to military intervention. Zim eventually blasts PP into space, but PP returns and explodes on Earth, unbeknownst to everyone. Zim tries to gather information from Newgums, but fails due to the baby's overpowering odor. Back at his base, Zim deals with G.I.R.'s destructive antics when Newgums and other babies surround him, revealing themselves as the Nargok, an alien race stuck on Earth. They plan to steal Zim's voot to escape, which leads to a battle. Eventually, he uses G.I.R. and a power amplifier to defeat the Nahar Gok, who remain trapped on Earth. Dip throws a piece of bologna at Zim, which fuses with Zim's skin. Zim plots revenge and makes Dip sit on attack to cause him discomfort. Dip discovers that Zim introduced a foreign DNA sequence that turns them into bologna. When Zim's transformation accelerates, they create an antidote, but it backfires, turning them into giant bologna sausages, seeking refuge from dogs in an abandoned house. On Halloween, Zim misconstrues the festivities and fortifies his base to protect himself from what he believes are candy-starved monsters, the school children. Simultaneously, Dib experiences bizarre hallucinations and is committed to the crazy house for boys. 
However, Dib's episodes are a result of being inadvertently teleported to the Nightmare Realm due to his father's invention. He escapes the asylum and seeks Zim's help. They both get trapped in the Nightmare Realm, with Dib encountering Nightmare Membrane and Gas, while Zim allies with Nightmare Bitters, leader of the Halloweenies, who aim to conquer the real world through Dib's portal. Zim returns to rescue Dib from Nightmare Bitters and her minions. They confront Nightmare Bitters, and in a chaotic sequence, both Dib and Zim escape the Nightmare Realm, leaving the antagonist unable to follow. Professor Membrane is on the verge of unveiling the world-changing Perpetual Energy Generator, but there's only one little hiccup, if it malfunctions, it could destroy Earth. Dib finds a future version of himself warning about Zim's plan to sabotage PEG and teams up with him. However, the future Dib is revealed to be a trap set by Zim, leading to Dib's capture. Meanwhile, Gas, thinking the robot Dib is real, heads to the unveiling ceremony with him. Inside PEG, Dib hacks the robot's voice system to warn Gas, but they end up confusing it with conflicting commands, causing chaos. Professor Membrane refuses to activate PEG due to the audience's rudeness, and Gas discovers the Dip bot is a robot, reprogramming it as her slave while Zim watches in amusement as future Dip faces the monkey's wrath. Dip has to use a raccoon-infested trash can as a desk at school due to a budget shortage for new desks. The school announces a fundraiser with poop candy bars as the products and various prices, including a secret one for the students who sell the most. Zim initially shows no interest until the secret prize is mentioned, and he becomes obsessed with winning it, hoping it's a weapon. The students engage in a frenzied selling competition. Dib initially leads in sales, but Zim resorts to using virtual reality helmets to manipulate people into buying them. Eventually, Zim surpasses Dib, flooding the room with money to claim his reward. However, Miss Bitters reveals the secret prize doesn't exist. It was just a ruse to boost Poop Dog's wealth. Zim gets a can of tuna as a consolation, and in his fury, he unleashes sound waves that destroy the newly repaired desks. GIR repeatedly rewatching a rented movie annoys Zim until he notices the FBI warning screen, causing him to fear the FBI is after him. Zim rushes to return the video, encountering an overzealous mall security guard named Sergeant Slab Rankle. Rankle confiscates the DVD and locks Zim in a cell, but Zim escapes with the help of other inmates. He recovers the DVD, dodging Rankle's zombie security force, and successfully returns it to the mall. Rankle offers Zim a partnership, but Zim declines, leaving Rankle alone with his zombies. Zim sends probes to Mars and discovers a colossal face-shaped structure, the control interface for Mars itself. He intends to use Mars as a weapon to obliterate Earth and contacts the Tallest to report his plan. The Tallest initially prays him, but their approval turns to mockery after he signs out. Unbeknownst to Zim, Dib, who monitors the Mars probe feed, rushes to NASA Place to alert the authorities. Unfortunately, no one believes him, and NASA Place employees are forbidden from viewing the Mars feed due to budget issues. However, a janitor from the Swollen Eyeball Network offers to assist Dib. Zim attempts to execute his plan, but is confronted by Dib in a rocket. The battle takes them across the solar system, from the Sun to Saturn. Zim and Dib are evenly matched, and the confrontation ends with neither prevailing. As Zim contacts Zatalis to discuss his warm-up before conquering Earth, Mars unexpectedly passes by, decimating part of the Urkan Armada. Ultimately, Zim's obsession with destroying Earth and Dib's determination to thwart him lead to a wild cosmic skirmish that leaves both parties and a portion of the Urkan forces battered and frustrated. The Almighty Talus send a Mega Doomer X3 combat stealth mech to Invader 10 on the planet Mikrob. They also discover a batch of dangerous malfunctioning SIR units and decide to send them to Zim. On Earth, Zim interacts with a human boy, Spuddy, who is bewildered by Zim's erratic behavior. Later, the Mega Doomer is delivered to Zim's base but causes chaos as Zim, thinking it's invisible, pilots it through the city, unaware that he is visible, leading to humorous encounters with unsuspecting humans. As Zim and Dib confront each other, the Mega Doomer loses power, gets recharged, and Zim's plan to eliminate Dib goes awry. Eventually, the robot self-destructs and the Tallest receive signals of chaos from both Zim and Ten, but they remain indifferent. At school, a lice infestation prompts the Delauser Countess von Vermenstrasser to isolate the children for research, except Zim and Miss Bitters, who lack lice. Dib questions the Countess's methods and overhears her obsession with the Lice Queen. When he and Melvin are caught escaping, they end up in the Lice Queen's nest. Dib pleads with the Countess for help, and she discovers that lice die on contact with Zim's skin. Using Zim as ammunition, she eliminates the Lice Queen. The Countess praises Zim, unaware of his alien identity, and the Lice Threat ends. Miss Bitters, however, starts scratching her head, suggesting the Lice Threat might not be completely over. 
On Valentine's Day, the students at school exchange meat slaps as a tradition. Zim, who's allergic to meat, is disgusted, while Dib wonders about the origins of this tradition. A new girl named Tak arrives and hands out sausages to everyone, except for Zim, whom she seemingly assaults with meat. Zim, misunderstanding the situation, believes she has a crush on him, and tries to exploit it to study human love rituals. However, his attempts lead to humiliation, and he tries to break up with her. To his surprise, Tak reveals herself to be another Urken who resents Zim for ruining her life by causing an accident on a planet called Devastus. Tak wants Zim's mission to impress the Urken tallest, but Zim refuses. Tak unleashes nanobots to attack Zim's base and then goes on to execute her plan to hollow out the Earth's core for snacks. Zim, G.I.R., Dib, and Gas must join forces to thwart her. They succeed in driving Tak away, but the tallest are unimpressed with Zim's achievements. In the end, Dib discovers Tak's ship in a crash crater in his yard, hinting at more adventures to come. In an attempt to make G.I.R. more obedient, Zim amplifies his behavioral modifier to an excessively high level, pushing G.I.R. into duty mode. When Zim sends G.I.R. to investigate a police siren, the robot's aggressive actions land him in trouble, forcing Zim to replace a police officer's brain with a squids to erase his memory. Meanwhile, G.I.R.'s obedience falters as he becomes increasingly skeptical of Zim's leadership and authority. He heads to a library to gather information where he starts draining the knowledge from human brains, exposing their true identities. Zim, with Squidman here, confronts G.I.R. who attacks Zim but is temporarily incapacitated by Squidman squirting ink into his eyes. Zim manages to restore G.I.R. to normal and they ultimately fulfill Squidman's wish to return to the sea where they humorously claim he gets eaten by a shark. The Urken leaders, the almighty tallest, tired of Zim's constant demands, send him to the elite training facility, Hobo 13, to prove himself. Meanwhile, they make bets on a survival among the other Urkens, forcing a lowly service drone named Bob to bet on Zim succeeding. On Hobo 13, Zim becomes the leader of a group of trainees who must complete grueling challenges to maintain their honor, which he often completes by exploiting his teammates. Despite his reckless methods, Zim survives all the trials. In the final challenge, he duels the sergeant of Hobo 13, using a technique to drain energy from his opponent's power suit and emerge victorious. The tallest rewards Zim with his own ship, but they lock the controls, sending him and Bob on a crash course for the sun, leaving their escape a mystery. On probing day, Zim tries to pass the inspection with Dib suspended in a time stasis field. However, the stasis field malfunctions, causing an explosion that's slowly expanding and will eventually destroy the city. Zim attempts to dispose of the explosion in the cesspool, but loses control. When he returns to his base, he discovers Dib is also affected by the stasis field's slowdown. Zim's plan is to throw Dib into the explosion to speed it up. Despite G.I.R.'s skepticism, Zim abducts Dib and uses a catapult to launch him into the growing explosion. Surprisingly, the plan does work, but leads to the destruction of Zim's base, the city, and the inhabitants left scorched. The new season kicks off with Zim attempting to showcase his latest Earth-conquering creation to the apathetic tallest aboard the Massive, which is orbiting the planet. However, the tallest dismisses him with a fabricated excuse about an enemy vessel. Zim's plan involves a brain-eating parasite, and he enlists G.I.R. to keep it under control. Meanwhile, Dip and Gaz use their resources to spy on Zim's plans, and Dip intercepts a communication where Zim gains control of the Massive. Chaos ensues as the Urken ship is pursued by the Resisti, a resistance group led by Captain Lardnar. As Zim and Dip struggle for control, the tallest tries to repel the Resisti, but fails. Eventually, Zim's plot is foiled, thanks to Dip's use of Tak's ship. The story culminates in the shrunken massive crash landing on Dip, causing panic, and the brain-eating parasite reawakens, leaving Zim in agony when he receives a call from the furious tallest. In a once-in-a-millennium event, the mystical being Mordos their Soul Stealer emerges from the underworld, and Dib, who knows about this occurrence, aims to have Mordos steal Zim's soul as his wish. However, Mordos is drained of power and needs Dib's assistance to recharge, which involves providing him with food and other items. While Dib helps Mordos recharge, he encounters Zim, who mocks Dib's secret weapon claims and throws him into a building. Dip finds Mordos at a carnival, and after a display of power, he regains Dip's trust. However, Mordos gets distracted, and Dip, impatient, tries to hold Zim down for the wish, but it's too late as Mordos hears another person's wish for ice cream and grants it, completely losing his powers. Dip's plan backfires, and he ends up getting arrested for loitering. Mufi, a girly ranger, goes door-to-door -door selling cookies, but forcefully convulses people into buying them when they decline. 
Zim's home is her next stop, leading to an elaborate series of events. When a robot gopher meant to get rid of Mufi malfunctions, it creates a spectacle that draws media attention. Zim tries various strategies to deal with Mufi, but only aggravates the situation. Dip attempts to use this distraction to expose Zim, but gets caught up in the chaos. Eventually, Zim forcefully removes Mufi from the ground, becoming a hero in the process. Dib's efforts to be heard go unnoticed, and he ends up stuck in the same spot Mufi was, ignored by everyone. Dib's ongoing mission to repair Tok's ship is further complicated when he inadvertently merges his own consciousness with the ship's AI. This results in the ship thinking it is Dib and believing the real Dib to be a fake planted by Zim. The ship takes on Dib's appearance and goes to school, causing confusion and chaos. Zim recognizes the ship as Urkin technology and takes control of it, using it to kidnap Dib and attempting to dispose of him in the city cesspool. During the journey, both Dib and Zim try to reason with the ship. Eventually, the ship regains its original programming, eliminates Dib's personality from its system, and refuses to take on Dib's life. Dib's appearance on the show, Mysterious Mysteries, earns him the irritation of the host, who describes Dib's vast collection of mystical spell drives. Dib, thrilled by the appearance, discovers a spell in one of the books and tests it on his sister, Gas, making her food taste like pig. Gas threatens him until Dib seeks a cure, but neither their father nor even Zim helps. Dib turns to the Swollen Eyeball Network, which informs him that Gas needs to visit the Shadow Hog in an alternate dimension to regain her sense of taste. They both go, and Gas passes the trial easily. Dib, attempting to rescue her, offers himself instead, leading to Gas's return to normal while Dib remains in the piggy dimension, cleaning the Shadow Hog's toilet with his head. This poor guy. While in school, Dib's attempt to prove Zim is an alien fails when a mysterious figure named Sizzlor kidnaps Zim and takes him into space, leaving Dib's classmates laughing at him. Zim reveals Sizzlor was his captor during his banishment to Foodcordia, and his escape led to Sizzlor's isolation during the Great Foodening. Zim contacts G.I.R., who fails to call the tallest and instead flies a kite. Sizzlor forces Zim to clean Booth 12, home to a dangerous alien creature, and reveals a security system that prevents Zim from leaving. Eric the Blob, a fellow prisoner, informs Zim that they can escape by hiding in something thick. The next day, Zim hides in Eric's food and escapes the restaurant. Zim returns to Earth, taunting Sizzlor before his taxi crashes in his front yard. The tallest watches Zim chase Dib, nonchalantly turning off the screen. In this futuristic episode, a robotic snowman named Mr. Sludgy narrates the story of Zim's attempt to conquer Christmas. Zim, accompanied by G.I.R. and Minnie Moose, becomes aware of the influence of Santa Claus over humanity and hatches a plan to masquerade as Santa. However, Dib discovers Zim's scheme and aims to stop him. Zim, in a Santa suit, convinces humanity to build a doomsday teleporter under the guise of a new Christmas tradition. Dib tries to expose Zim, but is disregarded by humans, leading to his imprisonment in the Jingle Jail. Dib contacts Gas for help, and she comes to his rescue. With their father's support, Dib returns to the North Pole with an anti-Santa robot suit. As he confronts Zim, the Santa suit takes control, transforming into a monstrous version of Santa. A battle ensues, resulting in Dib defeating the Santa monster and freeing Zim from the suit. However, Zim manipulates the humans into thinking Dib killed Santa. In the end, Mr. Sludgy reveals that Santa is not truly dead, but gathering strength in space to attack Earth each Christmas, explaining why they live under a protective dome. So this was the wacky story of Invader Zim from beginning to the end in detail. What a bizarre show, I love it, with an adorable little villain as a protagonist. Which part of it did you enjoy the most? Let us know down in the comments, and as for everything else, drop us a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel, and press that bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, let us know what other series you want us to cover next. As always, thanks for watching. Peace!